What's up? How's it going, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of The Baking Sheet, actual episode six. Uh, this week, I'm going to go a little bit off the wall and uh, go with some historic Tetsuko Cavalcade. Uh, Cavalcade of Calamity is definitely a red deck in standard that still pops up here and there. A little bit more of a resurgence with like the Chandra's Incinerator and stuff like that. But historic gives us Tetsuko, so we will be going to that here in just a second. But before that, I wanted to let everybody know that our Twitch emotes are now fully up and operational. We have a No Coward Cookie and the Ginger Fear all ready to go. So any subs, you get access to all of those, and hopefully more in coming. Um, we're going to be starting a sub goal here pretty soon to get the next emote unlock, which I believe is 25. I need 20 more, I believe. So I will be starting that on the next stream, so keep a lookout on that. All right, and let's go ahead and get into the deck. So here we have pretty stock, uh, kind of mono reddish stuff mixed in with a little bit of blue for Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. There we go. Gotta do it right. That's his name. So what this is, two drop one three, that it's a legendary human rogue, but creatures you control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. So Scorch Spitter, can't be blocked. Dragon Vodder tokens, can be blocked. Young Pyromancer tokens and Young PZ itself can't be blocked. Goblin Gathering, Elementals, all of it. Unblockable. Forever. So my whole game plan there is, you know, you got your Scorch Spitters, you got your Tetsuko themselves, you got your Dragon Fodders, PZs, and Goblin Gathering, and also the Chandra Elementals. And then, you know, Charter Course, Opt, Shock, and the, a one of, of each of the finales in color for Young Pyromancer. So with Finale of Promise, uh, it's X, red, red. You can cast one instant and one sorcery from your graveyard, each with X mana cost or less without paying their mana cost. And then, you know, you exile it. And then if it's 10 or more, you get to copy each spell twice. But I hope to never get to that point. But you never know. Games go on. So what we'll be doing with that, hopefully, is like bring back, well, recast, you know, Goblin Gathering and uh, Opt or Shock or something, but be triggering Young Pyromancer three times. And then we have a one-of finale of Revelation. It's draw X cards, and then if it's 10 or more, you have no max hand size, and then you get to untap five lands. Again, hope to never get to that, but you never know. But this also late game just refuels our hand to you know once again start going off and the cool thing is chandra we can minus two and recast every single spell in the deck so you know just having the one one elementals is definitely helpful there with our cavalcade of calamity if you haven't seen this card yet whenever a creature with power one or less attacks deal one damage to the creature or player that it or planeswalker or player that it, the creature is attacking so doubles up pretty fast and can get out of hand. And then the sideboard, it's kind of a just a kind of controly is it spell type thing. You, know, you got your spell pierces for any like Shadow of the Sky or Cry of the Canarium. Got your fries for your Teferis and I guess if people play Bane Slayer, but I don't think they do. But just annoying things, Hydroid Crisis, whatever. Got your Lava Coils for your Scavenging Oozes and Steel Leaf Champions, because we can't actually block that card at all. Except, I guess, PZ can, but meh. And then some Bone Crusher Giants. It's it's a big old beater that is pretty good against them here. So, let's get into some games. We also, let's see, okay. So, I'll be able to do that one fairly easily. Something that I kind of wanted to try out. Uh, Tetsuka was always a fun card. I remember people playing like Tetsuko Rats with the uh, Rat Colony, the one that you could have 
you know, infinite amount in your deck or whatever it was. So I remember all of that happening. Also, drinking mystery flavor Snapple. If anybody has ever had those old, like, Sobe rain drinks or whatever, that's exactly what it tastes like. And I'm not complaining. I used to love those things. Okay. I like this a lot. I'm not going to shock to play Opt turn one because I would like to play it while Pyromancer's up. However, I will probably play Fodder next turn depending on what we draw. Okay. Yep. Um... What they lead with Zagoth. All right, let's play Young Peasy. See what happens here. Next turn, if we can go Opt plus Dragon Fodder, that'll be pretty nice. Explore. Okay. So probably Teamer Wreck Field of the Dead. Mumbo Jumbo. So really, we just have to be fast here. All right. So let's Opt first. See if we can draw an untapped land. Spitter will go to the bottom. Yeah, all right. Let's opt again. There we go. Go ahead and attack here. Yep, there's Wilderness. But unless they can untap and have, like, Magma Quake, I should be okay. But they don't even have the double red for that. So, Aethergust. Interesting. Uh, you know what? I actually think we'll keep that. I will happily put that on top. All right. So, Fable Passage, get us a mountain. Make sure that we are talking. We are. All right. Now, let me... Sorry, let me... Move myself back up here. Whoop, too far up. There we go. Get a mountain. Play Pyromancer. Play Dragon Fodder. Get three tokens. And the next turn we will Tetsuko and hopefully ruin their day. Again, mainly we're just hoping to dodge like a Storm's Wrath or Magma Quake. Yep, that'll do it. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Thankfully, these Goblin Gatherings will help us refuel. They're down to two cards. Hopefully we see a bottom bottom here. What are these sleeves? Oh, okay. Anime Chandra. I said bottom bottom, not top top. Yep, there's field. And Euro. Which is funny because I'm sure they're thinking like, oh, we have blockers. So the, there's no way that a mono red deck can get through this. We're just going to win. Well, well, unfortunately for you, that's not the case this time around. I mean, I was going to say, if last card in their hand is yet another... Magma Quake, then so be it. All right. Can't quite do everything that I want to do just yet. So I guess we opt here first. Still trying to draw a land, I think. Okay, that'll do. Mm. Play this untapped, or play this tapped, and just go ahead and play Goblin Gathering now. And then next turn we can Chandra plus Tetsuko, no matter what we draw. No attacks. Yeah, 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 you get all your tokens, that's fine. 
And they can definitely bring back Euro. Oh, Team Arek, even plaguing Historic. This is a card I will not be sad to see leave. I can tell you that much. Although it's not going to leave Historic, it's still going to be there. But in Standard, at least, we'll get to do something else. Okay, so they're just bringing back Euro. That's not the worst thing in the world. So we have one, two, so we have five, six, seven damage next turn. Jeez. Who thought giving Simic all the draw cards was a good idea? Like, they realize Simic just likes playing big spells, right? Okay, they're just using it to scry. Good. Yeah, Squirt Spitter's not bad. So, play a Chandra. I don't think they have any counter spells. They do. All right. Well, I'm really glad they used it on that. Don't have another one. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, we can only attack in with a few, though. Because we need some type of blockers. Because, I mean, that's 14 damage on its own right there. Sure. So we just block there, block there, block there. Take, tw take 10. And I'm sure they have drawn Explosion or something stupid. Looks like it. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Casual explosion for 20. All right. Okay, so I think pretty much all we're bringing in here is Spell Pierce. The lava coils and fries don't do a ton. So just bring in Spell Pierce, take out. What do I take out? I guess Scorch Spitter. Let's leave the one in. Yeah, let's try that. Magma Quake is definitely an issue, but. Not really much we can do about that, unfortunately. We have Goblin Gathering, Shock, Cart, Chart, of course. I think we need a little faster than that. We also need lands. So can't keep that. Which, I know, we're only playing 20 lands. I get that. That's not the point. The point is... We should just... Be able to have it at all times. Opponent deciding if they want to mulligan or not. As you can see, still sitting in that percentage. I have actually dropped quite a bit since the last time I saw you all. Now we are in the 84%, but that's okay. I hit Mythic. That's all I care about. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I was able to do it, so I'm good. I'm happy. Happy. Sorry if that smile terrified you. It was not meant to. Come on, opponent. Something about Team Iraq players thinking that they just need to take 32 years to do anything. Play the dragon. Sea flying over here. Say hello. I mean, you're just wasting your time. That's okay by me. You get to watch our little dragon dance. Oh, yeah. Dragon dance! For any NSP fans out there. 
I am a dragon and not some guy Dan met at the bus station in a dragon suit. MSP is great. Come on, opponent. You're not tilting anybody. You're just wasting time. Me and little draggy boys just having fun. Look at him dance. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. We'll pitch. Do I want to pitch double goblin gathering? I think so, honestly. Come on. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take a win against Team Marekki any way that I can. I have no regrets about it. Not a single one. Zero. Not a regretful. Sure, regret is not the Spanish version of that, but I'm going to say it anyway. While they're timing out, folks, let me tell you. This is a great website called AetherHub.com has all your deck building and spoiler needs. Everything you could ever ask for. It's right there. On aetherhub.com. Great stuff. Also, Snapple Mystery, it's just Sobe Rain. Let's bring that back. Bring back Sobe. That'll be our new uh, campaign. Hashtag bring back Sobe. Hey, look at that. We won. I'd say I feel bad for you, but uh, no. Did I have fun? Sure. I'm sure they see that and they're like, oh, oh players are saying they have fun against Team Rack. We don't need to do anything about it. They're not doing anything about it anyway. All right. There we go. Got some gold. Play some Jumpstart later. Might be a video up about that. I will... Uh, let you guys know about that on another day. But might have something in the works there. It's a secret. Dink. I have a whole one friend online. All right. Who we are? Pick a rune. We got two mysterious cloaked figures. We are officially in a D&D &D session. This would be great if there were any blue sources, and we only have 10 in the deck. Probably not worth it. Yeah, we'll mulligan. Ew, that's worse. We are on the draw, and we have four one drops in our hand. So let's drop one Tetsuko. We draw any land other than Fabled Passage. Okay. Well, I'm still going to play this first because I don't know. There's actually no reasoning for that other than now we have given our opponent information that they did not previously have, but it's, it's fine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with Young Peasy here. is either just Simic Ramp with Field of the Dead or another team of Reclamation with Field of the Dead or all of the other historic decks with Field of the Dead. I'm sure Gobbos would run Field of the Dead if they could. Ghost Quarter? I don't like that. I do not like that. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Well, let's get three tokens. Swing in with a peasy. Guess you gotta be a little careful saying that. Swing in with our young Pabromanza. Three Field of the Deads. How much you want to bet they have another land drop? One, two, three, four, five. Thankfully, six. They're not at the make a token stage yet. And if we draw another red source, we have like shock, shock, 
make two more tokens, kill all your zombies. Get out of here. So it looks like uh, Bant Field, from what I can tell. They are out of blue mana now, which is good. That's great. Ooh, that wasn't bad. Let's see if we can't draw a land here. That's a charter course. That is not what we want. That's a cavalcade. I do want that. I definitely want that. Although, hmm. sequencing here might be a little interesting. Sure. I think we have to do the Tetsuko first. That way we can still get around all these zombies that are being made. All the while we'll start shocking down all these stupid zombies. All right. So we'll be getting in for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put them to nine. Okay. I mean, it's a draw. It's not the one that I wanted, but it's a draw. All right. None of you can be blocked. Be free, my children. Doop, 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 doop. Put them to nine. Go ahead and get a mountain here, because, you know, no reason not to. Did they Bajukabag and not hit anything? Is that what happened? Because I st oh no, they hit me. Okay. Let's see if we get to untap with this board and play a cavalcade. They're dead. Okay. Let's see what they do here. Can they bring back Euro yet? Not yet. So, come on. Maybe they bounce Tetsuko? Even then, if that's the case, I think we're still okay. They do have an instant speed land drop that I'll have to remind myself of. Bounced Peasy. Okay. So, that's still 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. Yeah, okay. I'm guessing they're just really hoping they're not dead. Which, I mean, I don't think this is a bad play. I do think... Hmm. I'm just wondering if they were going to do this, maybe they should have just plussed instead of bouncing Pyromancer. But I guess if they don't bounce the Pyromancer, they're dead regardless whereas this way i'm only swinging in for six they're still at three and can kill us on the crackback but unfortunately for them we got the tech okay so they only have a single blast zone up thankfully we get to block one here just because we can, and death. Watch those machine gun triggers go off. Yeah. You love to see it. 18 zombies? That's cool. All right, so we want fry and spell pierce. I think maybe we actually only want a couple fry. Then I'll take out the Coblin Gatherings. And I guess one Charter Course. Run like that. All right, on to game two against Pick a Rune. Pick a room, pick a room. 
pick a room, pick a room, pick a ruby room, pick a room, pick a room, pick a ruby room. That's all that reminds me of. I uh, didn't see any red. I'm pretty sure they're just Bant Field, so I don't know what they could bring in, really. I don't know if maybe they have, like, a Heliod's Intervention or something like that. I think they just kind of need to hope to get faster before we actually get to get set up. So I can't imagine you bring in Shadow of the Sky because that doesn't do a ton if they don't have him on in main already we'll see we'll see what they do thankfully to fairy doesn't really bother us and we have not a great hand but we already do have a fourth of our lands so maybe we keep i'm gonna keep charter course should help us out it might be wrong. I might lose because of it, but we'll we'll see. Okay, shock's not bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this tapped. I can't imagine they have anything that I want to shock, but we shall find out. More than likely, we are just going to try to course here. Okay, so let's discard island next turn we have pyromancer plus shock and then we can do finale play three spells we'll see how it goes euro rar okay so not feeling terrible here not feeling terrible. And then next turn, if young Peasy survives, we have, sorry, finale for two, get a shock and chart a discourse. Chart a discourse. Where did I even get that from? Okay, well, you know. Okay, so Pyromancer, go ahead and shock you because I can and you're a jerk. Now we have Spell Pierce up. Don't know if they have anything Spell Pierceable at the moment, but cannot Spell Pierce that in the slightest. All right, shoo. I guess we just Tetsuko hold up spell pierce. Yeah, it's about all I got. Okay, well, if you're going to just not cast things that I can spell pierce, then what am I supposed to do? Just not spell pierce things, because that's boring. Yep, so now that's alive. Opponent, really, just cast something that I can spell pierce. That's all I'm asking. Don't be a jerk. That's it. That's all I got to do. Uh, thankfully they tapped the Triome, so they cannot give everything haste, but we are just going to take five here. Ooh. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, all right. I'm about it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, cancel, cancel, cancel. Just for two. Chuck and chart of course. Auto pay. We will have to discard. Probably just discard the spell pierce since they already have 32,000 mana. 
get the charter course in first. Well, I guess shock in first. Get one of these. Machine gun some more tokens. Fry. Ah, Fry kills Kenny, so that's good. And yeah, I called you Kenny. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, our army is bigger. For now. You do have two Field of the Deads, three Field of the Deads now. I only have one card left in hand, though. So, you know. The race is on. It's possible I should have left Tetsuko back there, but I think we just need to push as much damage as possible. Because this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 next turn. With Charter Course. So maybe. But they can gain 3 life, 5 life. Right? Yeah. So they can gain 5 life. They can also give everything haste and put three counters on everything. That would be a nightmare. Knight of Autumn to gain life. No, to give counters. Okay. Uh, they'll get trampled too, don't they? So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 23, 27, 28, 29. And we have 6, 7. Yeah, so it's 22 damage no matter how we block. All right. Stupid Kenrith. Yeah, we could have only stopped a maximum of seven there. So just needed the fry sooner. So maybe we do bring more of these in now because Kenrith is definitely a problem. Actually, I kind of want to keep the Chandras. Maybe we drop... Uh, we're on the play, so Spell Pierce gets a little bit better. When did we take out a chart course? Actually, I guess that's a fine drop. Maybe we just drop a dragon fodder and do one Chandra. Go like that. All right, so now we're on the play. Let's get a good hand. This is a good hand. I'll keep this. I'm happy about this. Turn two, PZ. Turn three, PZ Shock. Should be golden from there. Should. Scry to the bottom, please. That's the top. We don't want that. Pretty sure I specifically asked you not to do that. Unfortunately, we would, like, need... No, not need, but we would like to see Spell Pierce first. Or in our early hands. That way, you know, we can keep up now. But that's okay. So go ahead and play into the Pyromancer. Have Shock up. It could be anything. They don't know. They don't know. Definitely not above just shocking them at end step. Getting a couple tokens. But we'll see what they do here. Grow spiral, sure. Wow, no turn four have Field of the Dead activated 32 times? I'll take it. Apparently I'm also stuck on the number 32 today. Why? Who knows? We don't ask questions around here. We just play the game. A little scared to play Tatsuko, but I also think we just need to keep the 
pressure on and this two, four, five, six, seven. So this puts them, yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of, but that does put them on a smaller clock that they kind of have to worry about. And now we're drawing land, so we're probably dead. Well, you know, you run 20 for a reason, but sometimes that reason just doesn't matter. Yep, now they're going to get to just go wild, and we're probably going to lose. Not our graveyard. So we need, like, a charter course to get back into this. Eh, of course it is. Charter course, finale of promise, one of the, or finale of revelation. Promise would be... The worst draw right now. Spoke too soon. I was all happy about how turn four they didn't have a million zombies. Well, that's because they had it on turn five. So 12, 13, 14. You know, we're not just dead. So that's cool. We have the fry for old Kenny. Ah, oh, there we go. Right on time. Right on time. Yep, that'll do it for that. Stupid field of the dead. Unfortunately, there's not really much we can do about that. Like, the only thing that I could really do is have something like Blood Sun in the side, but I don't really like doing that either. All right, let's play one more for you here. I definitely like this list. I think it's a lot of fun. Even if it's not like, you know, super high percentage win rate or anything like that, it's a lot of fun to play. And it's something new and refreshing. Well, I guess I shouldn't really say new, because it is just Cavalcade, but speaking of, holy crap. Do I keep this? I think I keep this. Yeah. All right, let's draw a land, go Pyromancer into Goblin Gathering. Eh. Bye, PZ. Oh, we have a reader. I imagine they take Pyromancer here. I could be wrong, but I imagine they take Pyromancer. I guess it's probably pretty hard for them to beat Triple Cavalcade too, but... You know, that's not my job. Um, Yeah, let's get the little score spitter out here. Typically, it's right that you want to play the cards that they already know about, but in this case... Oh, there goes Tetsuko. No, there's Goblin Gathering? Okay. But in this case, I think it is just better to, you know, get out some sort of attacking force going. All right, hit them for three. Who says Bolt's not in Historia? Come on, it's right here. Yeah. All right, we'll ditch a cavalcade. That's fine. Um, let's opt. Cool. And then let's Tetsuko. And we'll go ahead and play our land now. If they have another way to make us discard something, that's perfectly fine. All right, so get another cavalcade down here. Swing in for a bunch. And we have shock. Oh, you're rude. That's still dealing four, so... They are definitely on a short clock. I 
Yeah, yeah, right. Duh. Whatever. It's fine. Came here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's attack. Okay. All right, we are. <laughs> we're gonna shock that. I know it seems a little silly, but no. Yeah, well, you know. So right now we're hoping for Chandra. I would also take. Finale of Promise wouldn't be bad either. All right, so we will go ahead and shock them. We'll take two. Oh, no. Okay, well. Thankfully, it takes a while for Angrath's ultimate, but we'll, we'll, we will certainly die to just Nicobol's next turn. So we need to have something good here. Eh, <laughs> sure. That's not going to do it. All right, so fry, and I think that's it. Just fry. Okay. Oh, spell pierce. Faux show. And some fries. Get try to course drop down. Take out most goblin gatherings and most dragon fodders. And an opt. Try it like that. Spell pierce doesn't exactly help against Bolus Ravager, but Helps against the rest of the deck, so. Eh. Well, now you're just laughing at us. It's rude. Yeah, sure, I'll keep this. Um, just put that to the bottom. We will start off... Actually, we're going to start off by getting a mountain here. We could start off with opt, but I just don't think that's really worth it. They mulligan too, so that's a little helpful. Fable Passage, get the mountain. Because it's a mountain pass. That's what I'm here for, folks. Logic and reasoning. Um, Yeah, we'll get a score spitter down, and we will opt at the end of turn, most likely. But... We'll see what they do. Thought Erasure. Sure. I imagine they take Cavalcade. Again, could be wrong. And you don't want to opt first there, because if you just end up drawing into like a better spell than these, then it's surely going to get taken away. They took opt? Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, let's bolt them. They took the opt. Curiouser and curiouser. Might have Cry the Canarium here. If that's the case, so be it. All right. Well, we'll try and get the old Tetsuko down here. Hit him for a solid six. They said oops, and I'm not sure why. I guess we'll find out. Maybe they misclicked and didn't mean to take the opt. Maybe they were just meaning to click on it. I don't know. Ritual, so it's fine. Hey, joke's on you. It's the same exact board that I had before. Almost. Minus one's better, but that's okay. Eldest Reborn. Um, 
Huh. Let's get rid of the spitter. Main reason is if they have like Cry of the Canarium as well. Tetsuko dodges that, where Spitter doesn't. Spitter is definitely more damage in the long run, but... ah, That's rude. I forgot that that was part two of that. Okay. So, next turn, they just bring back Bolus. When did they discard that? Thought Erasure. Well, that's cute. And I don't see much of a way of winning here. But we'll see. We're not dead yet. Could draw Chandra. Chandra would be fine. I mean, yeah. Yep, that's fine. I forget what this side does. Draw two cards, deal 10 damage, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Ow. Don't know why I said ow, that didn't hurt me. Well, you know. Sometimes, uh, okay, so I was right to keep the Tetsuko. That's good to know. That is good to know. I mean, they're most definitely taking the down pile, but... Yeah, no. Okay. Now they're just flexing on us, I guess. Feels bad. Nicobolus the Arisen. Draw two cards. Draw two cards. What's your ultimate? Each opponent doesn't control legendary. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess uh, hitting the old plus two is definitely good when that's your ultimate. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we're going to try and kill the zombie. Mainly because if we do draw a Chandra, we would like to be able to get through. Ah, Steam Vince, yes. My favorite. Let's see what the opponent does here. I imagine they just get rid of everything but our... Yeah. Bottom card. Let's see. Did they hit both of our Chandra? They did. Okay. And both of our finales? They did. Pretty sure that last card's a land. Not even going to lie. <laughs> so this is just uh, the crimmiest of crim decks. It's a Pyromancer! What? All right, you got it, opponent. I didn't get to play spells for the last, you know, 12 turns. It's fine. I get it. I get it. Now we're down to 82. Oh, no. Okay, let's go back to the deck here. So, 
this was the Tatsuko Cavalcade. I do think maybe there are some better sideboard options. Um, maybe I just kind of go into like full control and just have like spell pierce, negate, mystical dispute, all that kind of stuff. But overall, I definitely love the list. I think it's a lot of fun having these one of finales are helpful in some certain situations. It's possible that you know the finale of Revelation just needs to be Chandra, another Chandra acolyte of flame, but. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I definitely like the list, though. And I will switch back over to this. If you have not already, check me out on Twitch at GingerbeardmanGamer. Uh, I also have a Twitter at TGingerbeardman. And actually, I'll go to the stream starting just to show you guys that here real quick. My Instagram and my Twitter right there. Uh, you're on YouTube. So if you like what you see, have some more comment or content that you would like to see from me, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you have not already. If you have any deck ideas that you guys want in the future, whether it be historic or standard or whatever, let me know and I will do what I can to accommodate that. And, you know, maybe maybe your deck is the next thing that gets played. So thank you all for hanging out and I will see you on Wednesday.